the hottest animal doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be a more severe effect when it comes to production. And I don't know, piggyback on what Pete was saying a moment ago, I, I don't know about you guys, but I've noticed a lot of variability in, in our responses, uh, particularly physiological responses in, in animals and heat of stress compared to non-heat of stress or thermonutrient animals. And in, in some animals, you know, they get, so talking about cows, 100, 120 breath per minute or, or say 104 degrees Fahrenheit. And they're just, they're just having a great time. They're just laying down. They're just eating. They're, they're not suffering as much. And, and animals that under the same conditions don't even, you know, increase a few, uh, one degree, you know, if you will, in, you know, just 65, 70 breath per minute. So the res individual response to the same heat stress uh, treatment, it's amazing. So obviously, I mean, at least in my mind, it has to be some genetic component that goes beyond the ability to the animal to sweat and, 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 and cool off quicker. I think it is something else, um, maybe hormonally, uh, maybe, you know, uh, like, uh, immune, immune response to to different to different stimuli and things like that that goes beyond 